Hello, and welcome to the Automate Faster with Straight Through Processing demo. As your workflows become more mature, automation becomes ever more important. Are you ready to go faster? IBM Business Automation Workflow is with you along your journey, with multiple options to optimize for straight through processing. Let's start the demo with opening the IBM Integration Designer development environment based on Eclipse. Here, we see an assembly diagram for order processing that describes an order processing main flow in the middle with the web service export on the left and the Java components implementation on the right. This order processing flow uses an order business object with four fields. Coming back to the assembly diagram, let's look on the left hand side for the various types of integrations we can perform. Our outbound imports allow us to communicate with external systems via HTTP, JMS, MQ, and others. Inbound exports allow us to start this order processing flow from various endpoints, HTTP and REST, JMS, and others as well. Outbound adapters allow us to communicate with heritage or legacy systems, and inbound adapters allow the same systems to trigger workflows. Now let's take a look at a key capability of the IBM Business Automation Workflow for Straight Through Processing, Transactionality. As highlighted in green, the entire flow and all implementations on the right are contained within a single transaction, ensuring consistent processing end-to-end. -end. Compensation, fault tolerance, and rollback are integrated in the platform to maintain quality of service. Let's open up the central order processing flow implemented here in BPEL. As you see, we start with a check for availability, possibly a decision service, and then down the left side, if it's available, we update inventory and pricing, and if it's not available, we possibly need to throw a fault. The fault is represented at the top of the flow here and allows us to engage in rollback to ensure consistent data availability in all systems involved. Now it's time to test the overall order processing flow. IBM Integration Designer includes a unit test environment locally to allow for this testing. Let's enter some data on the right, and once we're ready, we'll invoke over on the left, and the server will be run immediately with the results outputted. Here we can see that indeed the order was successfully processed. Further, we can see the detail of the order processing flow and all imports and exports with their results for inbound and outbound data. Now, let's consider an updated flow that includes a log component. Added very simply by dragging and dropping to the assembly diagram, we can synchronize the implementation and add this to the BPEL processing flow. On the right, we see our new log partner, and we can drag and drop it into the BPEL flow at the end. Map in the data element, we will want to log the order itself. And our new implementation is ready to be tested. We can update the unit test environment's server with a single click in the interface. And then we can enter our input data, same as before. And see the new result in the testing interface immediately. Finally, in the server log at the bottom, we can see that our order was indeed logged directly to the console. As you've seen, Business Automation Workflow provides many straight-through processing capabilities, including managing the transactional boundaries using BPEL workflows, advanced integration choreographies of multiple different adapters, imports, and exports, and full standard support across XML, JSON, REST, and more. The benefits of IBM Business Automation Workflow are clear through increased automation on a single workflow platform, driving straight through processing with easy and to use integrations all in context, and scaling end-to-end -end improvement through tools like analytics that will allow your organization to achieve higher revenue per employee. Thank you for watching the demo.